This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. What we have here is quite a unique combination of technologies working in a single site. Nevada Dignitary celebrate another milestone with renewable energy for this state with partners from Italy. That is tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 530. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Landon Miller. Kristen Remington has the week off. A power plant 75 miles east of Reno is getting attention from as far as away as Italy tonight. It's called an El Green Power Plant and they say it's a one of a kind development. Aaron Breen joins us live from the newsroom with those details. So, Aaron, what exactly sets this plant apart from the others? Well, and it is actually the fact that it's the very first plant to combine geothermal power with two different types of solar power. That idea has attracted a lot of attention from our own state officials and from the Prime Minister of Italy and other international dignitaries who all toured that facility out in the desert today. You see, while the plant has been operating since 2009, they have now just unveiled their third technology, which is called concentrated solar. Which consists of reflective troughs that concentrate heat. So it takes the sun's energy and concentrates it between 70 and 80 times. 35,000 gallons of demineralized water loops that heat through miles of pipes, and it all works in tandem with geothermal and photovoltaic solar. In fact, this is an important enough event that it brought Italy's prime minister to the Nevada desert to see it firsthand. Incredible plant is one of the most important around the world for the combination of technologies. And their technology with our natural resources has produced a hybrid system that is close to 90% efficient. It is also the largest, world largest, binary cycle geothermal unit nowadays. We're very blessed in the state of Nevada to have these renewable resources and we have to take advantage of them. I think that's the future of energy. In fact, you know, at this plant here where we're standing right now, 100% of the power that's generated here is going to be purchased by NV Energy and will be used by Nevada ratepayers. Now, none of this means that we can expect to see our rates go down. No one addressed that today. And the governor did try and soften the blow to rooftop solar customers who are still fighting with spikes in their rates from the Public Utilities Commission. That will be discussed in the upcoming legislative session. You know, the, the change in those rates is spread over several years, so at least in this year, it's only a small change. But today was about the $200 million that Anel is pumping into Churchill County and the state of Nevada. It was about the 50 plus jobs that they've created and about the international partnership moving forward. The future of energy is technology. If we invest in technology, we can create a different world, a new world. And right now, they're actually planning ahead. They said they'll build some similar hybrid plants, just a little bit smaller on the version, uh, one in Chile and one in Germany. And they'll continue to grow the plant here in the state of Nevada. Covering the big story, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.